Hi everyone, and thank you for joining me for my plan with me for the week of Valentine's Day. Um, I like to do these plan with me's in my mini happy planner, and I don't, uh, I haven't been able to afford any sticker kits yet, and so instead I use a bunch of craft materials that I have on hand. So for example, um, for doing like a kind of top washy thing with this kit, uh, this kit, this week's spread, I decided to use this floral paper that I bought in a packet from Hobby Lobby. Um, and right now when I measure things, I really just kind of eyeball them and I try to see, okay, what looks approximately right. I don't cut in perfectly straight lines and it doesn't really bother me in the end. So... Um, you know, that's just how I have fun with it. So here I am measuring these strips and deciding, um, okay, this one's a little too wide. Let me fix that. And then I use them to line the tops of the page. Okay, now that those are all stuck down, I like I'm having to go in and rewrite in the dates that were at the top because they got a little bit covered up. Now I always like to use my bottom my notes box as a writing tracker, and so right now I am marking off the paper with my fingernails, um, just making little indentations where I should cut so that I can use that same paper to fill up that bottom box. And I mean, I have been part of the struggle of having the watercolor mini happy planner is that um, either you have to cover everything up or you have to match the colors that you're provided with every month. And um, so far, I haven't been brave enough to cover everything up yet, you know, to cover up all the sides and all those top bars, mostly because I don't have stickers that would really be good for that. Um, but, you know, um, matching has kind of worked for me so far. It's been a fun challenge that I've had to meet. So after I get that bottom box in, I'm not sure what I want to do next, except that I know I love this polka dot tape. Um, this is a washi tape that I got in a pack from Hobby Lobby. And uh, for a minute there, I was kind of flailing around like, what happened to my card? And then I found it. But um, so yeah, so then I put this tape down and I just decided to completely cover up the day for each day because it's mostly see-through so you can still see what day of the week it is. And also just because I liked the look of the polka dots. And even though it ends up being a little difficult to see, I also use this same tape just to be my writing tracker. Um, you know, mostly it's see-through, but you can see a little bit of a, um, it is a little tiny bit opaque. So there's, there's kind of a difference in the plain paper and then the paper with the tape on it. So there I am writing and writing and the days of the week. So I can come back to that later. So now, after I get all the floral paper down, I get to the part that I'm really excited about, which is this sheet of giant heart stickers that I got at Target. Um, it actually comes with two sheets. One of them is a lighter pink, but I really liked this darker pink because I thought it matched the flowers in the paper that I used. Um, and I don't, I haven't been using a lot of stickers yet. Um, so it was really fun for me to pick up ginormous stickers and stick them down and let them take up that amount of space. 
So here I'm writing in the things that I need to do each day. Um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I always write in 9 to 9.50 and 11 to 11.50 because those are the days that I teach and those are the class slots that I teach in. Um, and so it's just nice to be able to check those off that yes, I did this again today. Uh, let's see, Wednesday I had a self-imposed manuscript deadline. I wanted to turn in um, a good chunk of what I'd written to my advisor, and so I was sure to mark that down for myself. Thursday I have some library books due, and my students were all turning in poems on Wednesday night, so I've made a note to myself that I needed to start grading the poems on Thursday. Um, then I'm taking this sheet of arrow stickers that I got at Hobby Lobby that I was really excited about. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what to do with them and what to do with the rest of these other heart stickers. And you'll see me kind of move those around and look at hearts and not look at hearts. And I spend a lot of time trying to decide whether a gold arrow or black arrow would look better. And then um, in a little bit, you'll see me get really frustrated because these stickers are impossible to peel off their sheet. They're actually really thick, um, clear paper, but for some, and even with fingernails, for some reason, um, I guess I just didn't want to harm them. I was trying to be careful, but I got very frustrated and, and showed you my claw monster hands, like what is going on here? Um, anyway, so I'm marking my little deadline and checking the shininess of the paper. Uh, other things I marked this week, um, I, I'm in a program that's called Teach. It's a teaching program, duh. Um, and we had a workshop on Friday, so I put that down. Uh, but anyway, so now I'm just playing with more of the stickers and deciding, oh, I could use even more stickers. Isn't that wonderful? So uh, this is a pretty simple spread, but I really liked the colors I used and the way that it turned out. Um, so thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great day. At the very end here, I'm trying to decide what to use to embellish at the top and I changed my mind from this binder clip and instead use a giant Target paper clip. Anyway, that's it. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.